Louisiana Beer Reviews. Samuel Adams Black Lager Revisited. Well, it's been over seven years since I reviewed this black lager. It doesn't seem like that long, but it has. This beer is certified kosher. It's 4.9% alcohol, 19 international bitterness units. It's crisp and dark with hints of cocoa, they say. Now, when I did it seven years ago, okay, best by March 20. 19. When I did it seven years ago, I thought it was good. I liked it. But it seemed like maybe it was a little bit burnt. Like the malts had been roasted to the point where they were too blackened. <coughs> nice smoke. A little bit of smoke. A little Coca-Cola look. Now that blackened aspect might appeal to some people. I have to admit that. Um, beer Advocate, Ray Beer, Untapped. They kind of favorable towards it, not hugely favorable, but sort of. Uh, th fairly thick beige head, a very dark brown appearance, somewhat lighter at the edges where the light hits it, of course. Now with the light shining through it, it's a red, a reddish brown, like a Guinness. When you drink Guinness Extra Stout, it'll be kind of reddish with the light shining through it. Okay, so <clears throat> been seven years I'm pretty sure it's been I don't recall ever tasting it since my initial review so seven and a half years all right here we go yeah it's bringing back memories of that creamy medium roasted barley malt yeah two row pale malt blend they don't the websites are not working right now it's like the beers of fall and you click on it and nothing happens Uh, 19 IBU sounds about right. 4.9% alcohol seems about right. Really, should be overall a mild, dark black lager. Not really black, dark brown, reddish brown. Okay, taste. Um, yeah. Cream, dark, very dark. At the Volksfest or Deutsches House Oktoberfest, they'll have the black beer. Not really black, but that's what they call it. Kind of like that bread, cr bread crust, the cream, the malt. Not burnt. I think they improved it. They probably watched my video and said oh it's burnt dial it back dial it back this much and it worked mouthfeel is um medium not a heavy beer medium mouthfeel and a crisp um no heading towards crisp finish. Let's say medium dry. Overall, I'm glad I got it in the uh, fall variety pack. Uh, $16.49 plus tax for the uh, six different beers. Of course, really five different because you're going to have to get the Samuel Adams Boston Lager, two of those, but I enjoy drinking those, so it's not really, not really a problem for me. I might try to see if David wants to do a taste test with that, you know, so... Probably would. Now you might be saying, what's the downside? What's the downside with this beer? Uh, not really picking up any downside. Uh, when that's the case, you're going, you're going to go with, you're going to start off at an A. An A. So I think it's a most excellent beer. I think I said A minus years ago. Let me see. Uh... It's pretty much around where I am now. So yeah, a most excellent. If you like a most excellent, delicious beer that you don't have to pay a whole lot for, 
this could be the one to try. Don't let the darkness scare you off because you say, oh, it's so dark. I bet it's going to be strong. No. I bet it's going to be harsh. No. Now, if you said, I bet it's going to be fairly sweet and mild and highly drinkable and extremely enjoyable, then you'd be on the right track. Yeah, it's really good. So we're all, we're all out here in Louisiana waiting for that winter variety pack to show up. Not to mention the Line and Kugels. Yeah, I know, different company, but I'm not corporate bound. You know what I mean? I can just talk about whatever company I want to because I'm not in cahoots with any of them. So, <coughs> whoa, we're waiting on the Line and Kugels, which uh, yeah, is going to show up, I hope. So, that pretty much get, brings us to the end of it. So, a most excellent product, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Warm southeastern Louisiana at this time of the year. Late October, early November.